Sometimes there's greater forces at work than we're aware of. You know what I mean? You just gotta roll with those fucking punches. You know? Fuck me. Just got really deep on me there. You know, I get my philosophize on every once in a while. Dropping gems. Love it. What is going on guys hopefully you're doing well and I just want to say thank you for clicking on this video and I just want to apologize for the lack of content I am going to be doing two videos a week going forward now at least if not three or four and I just really want to hold myself accountable to that a lot of it has to do with just my new job starting out as I've already mentioned I'm not going to go into that anymore just because you guys already know what's up with that but when it comes to my whole um, I guess just life in general right now, it's just finding a balance and that's pretty much what it is for you guys too. If you're busy all the time, it's about finding a balance between your nutrition, your training habits, um, just your life in general with your friends and family because you don't want to get, you don't want to lose sight of what actually matters in life but then again you also don't want to lose sight of the goals that you have so finding a balance is definitely the key I guess to life in general really but specifically about finding your goals hitting your goals and then kind of moving past and then setting new goals and reaching those so right now I'm currently trying to bulk um, if you've been following the channel for the last like two or three months I've been kind of really low on the body weight side of things just not because I'm trying to cut not because um, I'm trying to do anything specific other than put on the size um, that I'm looking to so basically by that I'm just saying I haven't been putting on the size that I want to because I've been working so much and my nutrition has not been on point so I basically put myself in a deficit kind of um, in turn because of that so people are like oh are you cutting Joe blah 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 like no um, I wasn't cutting but just in turn by me putting myself in a deficit by the amount of activity I was doing throughout the day being that I'm a personal trainer I'm working out consistently throughout the day showing my clients different exercises and with that being said I'm burning more calories than I was when I wasn't working as a personal trainer in an actual gym setting five days a week so that's kind of where I'm at right now and kind of the reasoning but I did wake up at 156.5 today and so I'm making my way back up there um, my heaviest I've ever weighed was 164 so slowly but surely making my way back up there and I know once I'm around 160 and start to kind of hover around there and maintain that that's when my strength levels are really gonna go through the roof so as you can see by this video, I'm not going to keep ranting about this random stuff, but um, I'm going to talk about the few things that I would recommend for someone who is leaner, for someone who is more of a hard gainer, to, to successfully bulk. So, basically I'm going to be talking about a few different things that work for me and what have been working for me for the last two years when it comes to my bulking and keeping myself in a caloric surplus. So a caloric surplus is basically putting yourself in a surplus of calories from your maintenance level of calories. And your maintenance level of calories are the amount of calories that you basically are getting in on a daily basis in order to maintain the body fat and, and just body composition in general and body weight that you are right now. So basically to maintain the, the physique that you're at right now is what your maintenance level of calories is. So, with that being said, if you find that maintenance level of calories, which can be done by tracking for about a week or so, weighing yourself, kind of feeling it out in terms of what um, you're actually getting in on those days. So if you're consistently eating the same things and your weigh-ins are consistently the same and you notice that your calories and your macros, carbs, fats, and proteins are pretty consistent for that week and your weight really didn't fluctuate, chances are that's probably a good range of where your maintenance level of calories is is so from there that's when you can kind of add in 300 between like 300 and 500 calories above that maintenance level of calories to put yourself in that surplus same thing can be said if you're going into a deficit about 300 to 500 calories in a deficit to try to cut so that's kind of the gist of it and that's a very basic way of putting it but that's what you need to be doing in order to kind of ensure you're in that surplus so my fitness pal if you guys are not familiar with that already um, definitely download that that's a good way to help track and not necessarily have to like do it by hand or the old-fashioned way at all so if you're not familiar with my fitness pal which I'm sure most of you are definitely give it a look but finding that maintenance level of calories and putting yourself in that surplus is number one but the main thing a lot of you guys already know that that is the case but 
the trouble you guys have as a leaner, more um, more of a hard gainer like myself, someone who has trouble eating enough and trouble putting on size, you have to focus on actually staying in that surplus and that is the difficulty for a lot of people. So that's where as you guys can see this is just chilling right here. Um, Serious Mass which is the mass gainer that I take by Optimum Nutrition which is the best mass gainer I found currently out on the market and I've been taking for about two years now. I like the vanilla, chocolate's good too, I've t had that, but they have a couple different flavors. Basically, it's a 1,200 calorie serving size. So, 1,250 calories per day is coming from my mass gainer. So, if you throw that in on top of the normal food that you're already eating throughout the day, I usually have probably around three or four meals besides that and then some snacks. That in itself is going to be a huge factor in being able to maintain the body fat um, or excuse me, the body composition that you're wanting and that surplus that you're needing to put on that muscle. So being able to get this in the first thing in the morning, it's about 7.30 right now, so I'm drinking this right now, and this is going to basically be my breakfast. So after this, I'll have another meal, then I'll kind of go out through the day, either having the second half of this, because this is half a serving, the second half of this either after my workout or before bed, and basically that's going to give me the insurance that I need to kind of... Um, know for a fact that I'm getting in enough protein and enough carbs specifically to help me gain muscle but also have good workouts so I'm not feeling run down and lackadaisical in the gym because I'm not um, fueling myself properly. So that's kind of what was happening when I was lifting and not really feeling the best in terms of how I was eating and that would carry over into my workouts just simply because I didn't have as much fuel as I would like to have while I'm trying to bulk. So. That's going to be my first tip, find a good um, mass gainer and find something that you like and find something that doesn't have a shit ton of sugar in it because if you have a ton of sugar in it, um, it's not really going to do much for you other than um, ruin your teeth and just give you a ton of simple carbs in that sugar form. So this only has about 10 grams of sugar um, and that's really good. So a lot of them are upwards of like 25, 30 um, and that's a ton of sugar for a mass gainer that's supposed to be um, something that's going to help you. Um, obtain a better physique so the other benefit of this is it has about 50 grams of protein per serving um, and then also it has 250 grams of carbs and vitamins and minerals so the vitamins and minerals is nice because in today's day and age you don't get your there's no way in hell you're getting enough vitamins and minerals from just your daily diet of fruits and veggies so taking a multivitamin taking things like this um, that has some vitamins and minerals in or even like a um, like a veggie blend where you can kind of um, throw it in like a protein shake or like a, a blender um, something like that just to get that, that extra um, added vitamins and minerals in definitely definitely recommend that so I take I'll take this every day I take my optimum by optimum nutrition as well and then I'm also shooting for my two servings of fruits and veggies per day so second tip is going to be find foods that you like that have a little bit higher fat content so for me the main ones that I like are cheese like I love string cheese and then peanut butter and then chocolate milk so chocolate milk is obviously gonna have a little bit more sugar like I was just mentioning with the protein um, or with the mass gainer shakes but the beauty of chocolate milk is it's a great way to add in a little bit more fat a little bit more carbs and a little bit more just calories in general um, that you wouldn't be getting if you didn't have the chocolate milk. So instead of having a glass of water with your meal, have a glass of chocolate milk and a water, and then you're getting that extra um, little bit of protein in there, um, a little bit of um, carbs on top of the meal you're already getting in. And since it's liquid, it's easier to get that in um, and it's it's not so demanding on your stomach where you feel like you're super bloated because you just ate such a big meal. So that's going to be tip number two. And tip number three is going to be eating more often and have it smaller amounts. So instead of trying to force feed yourself three huge meals throughout the day, try to break it down a little bit. Maybe four, maybe five meals, even six meals per day. And the reason why is fi myself, I find that if I eat a smaller meal and then wait a half an hour, I'm gonna be more hungry again than if I ate a huge meal and then was stuffed for like two hours and then I waste those two hours when I could actually be getting in another meal if I ate a smaller portion the first time. So eating a smaller portion, digest quickly, then I'm hungry again within an hour even, sometimes even sooner than that. So then that your metabolism is kind of kicked up. Yes, you're kind of digesting food all day, but for you and for someone who's leaner, doesn't have that big of an appetite, it allows you to get in more food over a long period of time rather than having to force yourself to get in a large amount of food in such a small window. So 
that's a huge tip guys just make sure you start out the day eating early if you wake up early don't try to fast don't try to do anything like that because for someone like you for someone like me who's leaner you need to actually start to eat early in the day because otherwise you're going to run out of time for the amount of food that you need to get in and the appetite that you have so those are my main three tips guys hopefully this helps you out um this video is a little longer than i would like to be um having videos be but um hopefully you enjoyed if you like the longer video and you learned something please drop a like definitely um appreciate you guys giving the likes definitely helps me understand what you guys are liking what you're disliking um and then i can kind of make my content geared towards that so thank you for watching once again guys i appreciate it and um, i'll be coming out with more content very soon but once again, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing and all the support. It really does mean a lot. Um, we're almost to 900 subscribers, then on to 1,000. And that's just crazy to think about. But um, I'm just very grateful. So thank you guys. I love making these videos. And I hope you guys enjoy them um, at least a little bit. So um, yeah, make sure you like the video. See you guys in the next one. And have a great day. Take care, guys. Ha <laughs> <laughs>